Hello. Today we are going to talk about a company that was established in 1761. Now <laughs> that's a long way back, considering the fact that the Battle of Plassey was fought in 1757. So this is about that time when this company was formed. Uh, of course, uh, this is a German company, and the current board. Has ninth generation of the founders running at the I mean uh, running the company at the helm, and uh, this is one of the most iconic brands uh, among writing instruments uh, in the writing instrument space. And in terms of recall, it's this brand is. Just there in the sky with the gods, like it's so big. Incidentally, they are also a carbon neutral company. Now, when I uh, say a carbon neutral company, what I am trying to say is that this company, they have their own forests in Brazil, and uh, they capture about nine hundred thousand tons of CO two, and that's an old estimate. Uh, can you guess the brand? Uh, can you? No. Well, we are talking about Faber Castell. Now, most of us know Faber Castell as a brand uh, that manufactures pencils and other stationery products, especially you know crayons and stuff like that. But uh, they also make fountain pens, an awfully good. Fountain pen said that. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about one pen. The pen has been gifted to me by a fellow fountain pen lover, who keeps buying these uh, fountain pens and sending some of them over to me to be distributed among young fountain pen lovers here uh, locally. Now, uh, for some strange reason, he doesn't want to be named, but. All the young people who have received your pens, sir, and I join uh, all of them to salute you for uh, this gift. I uh, I did not have a Faber Castell pen, and uh, so this uh, pen has been gifted to me. And this is the one. I hope you can see it. This is the one uh, that we are going to talk about now. This is a Faber Castell Loom piano pen, uh, a piano white, because this also has a black sibling. Now, what's so striking about this pen? Well, uh, the very look, the look itself of this pen warrants a buy. I mean, if you. Where to leave everything and buy it just for the sheer look of it? It's worth it. The way, uh, you know, this gripping section, this matte gripping section, uh, tapers off towards the nib, reminds one of uh, an opera coming to a close. So that the audience can erupt in an explosion of applause in this nib. Now, uh, this, as you can see, is high gloss, and this is matte, and these has these rings which make it an extremely pleasurable sensation to hold the pen as you write. It's well balanced. This is very ergonomically designed, and uh, it's a sheer pleasure. I mean, I, I I don't have the kind of knowledge or the expertise to talk about or to comment about German engineering, and I'm too insignificant. So it, I I I won't even try that. But this is a beautiful pen. It's got Faber Castell etched in here. Uh, this is the glossy 
belly or the barrel with a plastic cap, steel accents, uh, very well designed uh, clip, the mat uh, gripping section as we talked about and it also comes with a faber castle uh, converter. The nib is among the smoothest operators in the game that there is and uh, one has to feel it, you know, blast through the senses as the nib glides on the paper. Uh, if there is perfection anywhere in the realm of man, then this must be how it looks. I am, like I was saying, too insignificant to comment on the sheer magnanimity, the sheer scale of German engineering. But even mute spectators like me are compelled. This pen is too damn good to pass by. It's a classic. The legacy, the craftsmanship, the attention to detail, the engineering excellence, everything is reflected in the writing experience. Every little thing that has been carefully built in and perfected to provide only one uh, thing which is a supreme writing experience. It's like a carefully orchestrated pieces of a masterpiece that works towards reaching the crescendo in an explosion of sheer delight. I love this pen. I love this pen and I uh, hope to write and show you writing samples someday. This is not an oversized pen. As you can see, this is more or less the same size with a Sovran and uh, a Pelican Sovran, that's uh, it. Uh, if you were to look at Indian pens, this is not very big, not oversized at all. Very well balanced, beautifully crafted pen. And one has to thank the man who's kind enough to give me this pen. But uh, in itself, it's a beautiful pen. And if, uh, if you want, you can, I think, this is the kind of, uh, you know, forever thing that if you want to buy yourself for, please go ahead. You see, it's a beautiful pen. It's a lovely pen. And uh, please go ahead and get yourself one. You won't regret it. Thank you.